Heidi here. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to trace on Canvas. And um, I know we are getting ready for the fall ball. So let me know as you come on if you are, if you can hear me first off, because I just had um, just had a few technical issues. So please let me know if you can hear me. And then I'm going to walk you through how to trace your um, the pumpkin painting so you can do this to be ready for the fall ball. So as you are here, go ahead and say hello. Let me know you're here. Let me know you can hear me. And good morning. Oh my gosh. So we are um we are in Texas and it is rainy today. So I have that like, oh my gosh, it's the first time since forever that I've like since last year, like late last year, whenever. Okay, so summer for me, I love, love, love summer. Let me know if you're a summer person or more of a fall person. And so we have been, um, I've just been this last part, like just eating up this last part of summer. Today is the first day. Oh my gosh. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Annie. And um, today is the first day that I um, feel like, okay, I'm ready for fall. Like I'm starting to have that feeling because that rain and I just want to go take a nap, which I'm not a big napper. Let me know if you're a napper. Um, let's see. Annie says, I, hi, Heidi. I just sent my only daughter off to sixth grade. Junior high. Oh my gosh. She says, boo-hoo. I need to paint today. Yes. Oh my gosh, Annie. Get out some paints and start painting. Oh yeah, I know. It's... um. As they get a little older, and um, I've, I've heard like the senior year is real rough. I'm not ready for that at all. Um, but um, when we took Pixie the other day and she actually drove us, that was a new experience. And so, um, so she kind of had like a little attitude. She's 15, so she's going to have an attitude from time to time. And I was like, huh, okay, like. Not as emotional as normal. <laughs> and she drove us. I was really nervous about that. Okay, let's see if we have some naps. Okay, we have people that nap. Let's see. Hey, Raging from Maine. And um, hey, Linda. Hey, Laura. Okay, good. You can hear me. Great. Um, Linda naps. Okay, let's see. Um, Tammy's a napper. Um, let's see. Ruth says, like fall and we'll nap if I'm really tired. <laughs> fall is my favorite. Let us know. Let us know, number one, if you are a napper. And number two, because I'm not a big napper, but today I feel like I'm going to need a nap. With this weather, I just feel like I'm going to need that. Okay, so when you sign up for the fall ball, first off, let me know if you had, um, oh, let's see, Jeannie, let's see, Jeannie says, I just found a lap puppy on the road. Solid black pixie I need a name. Hopefully starts with an S. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, so. Pixie's at school, but I will I will ask her because she always has really great names for animals. But I love, like if I ever had a second kid, I love the name Piper so much. And so now I've always said like, well, since I'm not going to have another kid, I should definitely um, name a dog, you know, our next dog Piper. Um, okay, so here's what you do to trace the canvas, okay? And for those of you that have signed up for the fall ball, I just want to say thank you. For those of you that have not, you still have time. So there is a link in the description or you can just say um, fall ball um, or look anywhere on my Facebook page, you will find it. So sign up, it's only $10 and I'm gonna be teaching you this painting on Sunday night. And then I'll be teaching you this painting on Monday night. I'm giving away tons of prizes. If you have not seen all of the different fun stuff I'll be giving away as well as Stencil, it's like over $700 worth of stuff. I'm so, so excited. And um, so anyway, so here's how you trace the design, okay? So, and you just get a 16 by 20 canvas. You can get those at Michael's or wherever you get them. And again, it doesn't even have to be a 16 by 20, but we have the full tracer for you. So when you sign up, you're gonna have the tracer. So do you have to be an artist? No, I'm gonna walk you through all of it. Then I just get some paper off of Amazon or Michael's and you just grab it. Oh, Francine. Yeah, that sounds awesome. She says naps on Sunday afternoon are a must. <laughs> I love just laying out in the sun on a Sunday afternoon. That's one of my favorite things to do. And um, so here's just some black carbon paper and transfer paper. They have it at Michael's. But it's like really, it's a small one, so it's hard to find. So make sure you ask somebody because I looked forever one day trying to find it. And so this one I got off of Amazon, okay? And I'm just going to put it like that. Let me just do this. 
Oh, and let me know if you have texted me. Um, for those of y'all that are missing my lives, if you text me at this number, that's how you'll be notified to know for sure I'm live because I always, always um, text before I go live. Cindy says, what does the shop that you start with on Friday, what, oh, what time will the shop start? And um, I think around 2 p.m. Central. So if you text for sure, I'll like if you text me, just text, um, hey, Heidi, or fall ball to this number, and then I will text you right before I'm live. And um, the carbon paper, great question, Denise. Denise, the carbon paper is eight and a half by 11. And then I'm just taping it together. So I'm sure you can get different ones, um, but I'm just taping it together. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Okay, good. Okay, yes, Lynn, thank you. Thanks for texting me. Okay, so right here, I tape this together. I'm putting the shiny part on like towards the canvas. And then what I like to do is I like to take my tracers that I printed out if you don't have a printer, it's okay. You can either freehand this if you're you're somewhat of an artist, or you can um you can get like a local place to print it or ask a friend who has it. And um, Sherry, great question. Can we prep the canvas beforehand or do we need to wait? What I would recommend, Sherry, is go ahead. If you're if you're a painter, if you're a skilled painter, you can just wing it and do it freehand with me. However, for those people that are really nervous, I'm having you trace the pumpkin first, just because it can just take out some of the anxiety. Um, oh yes, Jen, they do have white um, carbon paper. Yes, they have actually all different colors. You can get all different colors. Um, ooh, Stacy, that's a great find. Do you mind sending me that link? I would love to look that up. She says she found a roll of carbon paper on Amazon. How cool would that be just to roll it out, cut it? I love that. Yeah, and Denise, great tip. The library can print. I love that. Okay, so for those of y'all that are signed up for the fall ball, go ahead and get this part ready for Sunday night. So you can see we have all the lines there, so you can put it together like a puzzle. So I just kind of hover over it. Can you see me? Okay. Let me know if you can see me okay. Um, I just kind of hover over it and make sure I'm getting on the lines so it kind of matches. And then I just tape it. I just get some scotch tape, nothing major. Yeah, Cindy, I think so too. That would be really fun. I'm, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> the things that, that make you excited, like um, we bought a new fridge. We still have not got it because of um, the manufacturer type stuff. But um, I am so excited about a new fridge. And I'm like, that is like, does that mean I'm old? <laughs> that I'm excited about a fridge? Like, does that mean that I've officially turned old if I'm like, yay, a new fridge? You know, like, I remember when I had to get a washer and dryer years ago, and I was so mad about that purchase because I, I did not want to have to spend my money on a washer and dryer. Um, but the fridge, I was like, so excited. Like, what happened to me? What happened? What happened? Okay, let's see. Did you buy candy corn for fall ball? Yes, Gina, I did. I have candy corn already. I've been dipping into it. And I did not throw it away. And I was telling um, Paint Party Headquarters, was it yesterday or the day before? I said, yeah, buy candy corn. And then I eat half of it till I make myself sick. And then I throw it in the trash. And then I spit on it so that I won't finish the candy corn. <laughs> because I have an issue. I love that stuff so much but I will eat it till I'm physically sick. And so I did buy candy corn for the fall ball and I'm going to be um, eating candy corn and maybe drinking some root beer. It's the diet of champions. I know it is not good. <laughs> I know it's not good. Oh, thank you. Is that the um, roll of, um, of carbon paper? Um, thank you so much. Clarice just posted that. So that's great. Oh, and Karen says she's getting new carpet. So are you excited? <laughs> I bet you're excited. I would be excited. Like these floors, eventually we're going to turn them into wood floors and I'm going to do stenciling on top of them. So every time I come in here, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get new floors in here. But Bobby said, no, not yet. We better wait. Um, okay. So here I'm going to put this right here. And just kind of match it up the best you can. If it's not perfect, it is not a big deal. So the point of you seeing me do this is so, in case you have any questions, of course, but also to know that it's not, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, 
So let me do a couple more pieces of tape here. Um, Oh, Angela, that's it. Yes. Okay, Angela. Um, she says, mix a bunch of candy corn and peanuts. It's so yummy together. Yeah, when I was a teacher, I remember one of my students brought that to me. And oh my gosh, it was so, so good. So yeah, that might be, we might all have to go out and buy candy corn and peanuts just for our um, the fall ball. <laughs> Anybody else want to do that? We can all be eating the same thing while we're creating. Okay, so you can use a pencil or a pen or whatever. It does not matter, okay? It does not matter. And Stephanie loves it too. I know we're all like, hey, Edna. Oh my gosh, so good to see y'all on here. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Cheryl. She says, I love candy corn too. The best one is what? There is a s'mores flavored candy corn? I didn't know there were other options. What the heck? What? I'm just now learning about this. Oh my gosh. Ah, Cheryl, now I'm going to be on a hunt to find s'mores flavor. Do they have cookies and cream? That would be so good. Hey, Margaret. Oh, I just broke my pen. I got excited. I got so excited about the s'mores. <laughs> okay, so let me point this down just a little bit so you can see where I'm tracing, okay? So all I have is the, the tracer paper, and then I'm gonna put this a little bit up. And again, this isn't like exact fit. It's okay, it's okay if it's not exact fit. Just kind of get close, and then I kind of get close here on the bottom too. Okay, so I'm gonna trace it. So all we have to do, and let's see, everybody loves, oh my gosh, I'm not the only one. Everybody loves that sweet treat. Oh, yeah. Do you have any other tips on what to do with candy corn? Um, Danette says, I'm not a fan of that, but I do love some root beer. Oh, yeah. Root beer. So I love root beer. Barks is my favorite because it has caffeine. Barks has bite. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, there's a maple flavor. Oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all got to let me know these things. I can't be finding out years later. I got to know these things because that's like part of my painting ritual to that's probably why I eat so much because I'll be painting and I just grab it and then like three hours later I'm like oh I ate all of it <laughs> okay so all I'm doing y'all is this pen doesn't even work I don't know if you can see this but this pen does not well now it's starting to work but it doesn't matter that's the beauty of this it could literally just be a, a sharp edge of any sort it doesn't even have to work to um, push it. You just have to have pressure. That's all it is. Hey, Pam, how are you doing? Oh, I've missed seeing your face there. Um, hey, Gigi. Um, okay, we don't have it through PayPal for the fall ball for those of y'all signing up for it. And um, you have to use a credit or debit card. And um, if you have not signed up, oh, and Margaret, this is a 16 by 20. 16 by 20, but you can do any size. Um, but you can, um, whenever you click the link, it's either in the description or just put fall ball and we'll make sure to try to get the link for you or look anywhere on my Facebook page. We have the fall ball stuff everywhere right now. So this is our um, second annual. So if you're new to me, we did this last year, but we did not have near the prizes that we have this year. And so we have went all out this year to make it just not only really, really fun, um, again, it's only 10 bucks and it's three full days. You can call it entertainment. Um, you can call it um, just fun, maybe getting back into painting and um, just the things you'll learn, especially for those of y'all on day three that want to learn about, you know, making this into some extra money, a paint party business. Again, not everybody who takes the fall ball wants to do that. And I totally respect that. But what I have found out is that a lot of people will start to paint and they're like, People are asking me for this, or somebody asked me if I could do this, or my church asked me if I could lead this or that. And, and the next thing you know, they're like, oh, this is something cool that could help my family. So we'll talk about how you can make it into um, even just a couple paint parties if you want on day three. But the first two days are all about painting, all about fun. Um, and I'm so, so excited to have y'all. Um, let's see. Um, good morning from Canada. So excited for my first fall ball with you. I am excited you're here too. And um, who has um who has taken the fall ball last year? Because we did Witches Be Crazy and we did the Owl, the Hootable Harvest. This year we're doing pumpkins and then the witch. Um, I'm sorry, the cat witch. 
It's like she just has. And again, if you're not into witches, you could easily not put the witch hat. Like that's a very, very simple, simple change. Okay, so I'm going to have the, let me go ahead and finish here. And I, I do see there's lots of comments about how we can eat candy corn in a different way. And I am going to go back and read this because I'm really excited to know if there's other ways. Let's see. Bethany says, I'm so excited to get back to painting with you. I'm trying to freehand. Yes. Okay. For those of y'all that have, um, have free or that, you know, are ready to freehand this, it's really not that intense to freehand. Um, I'm doing it this way just to show y'all, but I promise you it won't be too hard to freehand. Um, oh yeah, this would look good on, on black. Can you could do black canvas. That'd be so fun. Yeah. And Jenny says, I did the fall ball last year and loved it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited you're doing it again. Yeah, we have over a thousand of you already in the fall ball. So we are excited um, to see um, all of you and all of your beautiful artworks as we create together this next few days. So we start on Sunday. And actually, I'm going to take y'all shopping on Friday. So set your alarm for 2 p.m. Central on Friday, and that's whenever I'm going to um, take y'all with me to my local craft store and kind of show you what to pick out. So I'll bring the supply list just like you have, um, and then I will um, go shopping and kind of show you, well, if they don't have margarita green, I can pick this color and be close to it. So again, it doesn't have to be the exact colors. Um, it does not have to be um, exact. We can have some fun with this. Actually, part of the, the prizes is, um, is being creative, is making yours a little different, you know, things like that. So you don't have to have it perfect. Okay, so right here, this is a good example. Right here, there's a missing spot. So I'm just going to kind of fill that in. Not a big deal. Okay, here's a little tip. Make sure you hold your place down and lift. So I can see, oh, I missed that whole pumpkin, okay? Now I'm going to go here, and now I can see I have that pumpkin over there. And I'll show you up close in a minute. Um, let's see. Laura says, first time, a little nervous but excited. Laura, I'm so happy you're here. Don't worry. You are going to love it. You're going to love it. And... Um, Oh, Kim says, I'm so excited for this. I am too. And Latonda, hello, good morning. She says, watching from Cali, where do you find the extra large graphite paper or those taped together? These are taped together, but I think Stacy is putting in, Stacy, is that the Amazon link? Um, let me know if that's the Amazon link for the rolled, um, rolled Amazon or the rolled graphite. If it's not, let me know if it is, if that's for sure it. I don't want to. I don't want to have a link on there that's not for that. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and copy this one. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like. So I just taped mine together, Latonda. Just taped it. Um, just because I have a, I bought a big old thing of like 50, 50 pack of tracer paper on Amazon. And it's lasted me for two years now. Um, at least two years. Oh, good. Thank you, Gina, for letting me know. Want to make sure we don't have some like ra random Amazon, everybody's linking and getting scammed or like a um, virus. We don't want that happening. Pam says Hobby Lobby has large sheets of graphite. Oh, good. That's good to know. So if you don't want to get it on Amazon, um, Hobby Lobby has large sheets you can grab too. Very cool. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah, you want it, you want to hold it and very lightly pull it to make sure. And Cindy, so that everybody will be on there. And um, let's see, I have a normal printer. And thank y'all for asking questions. And um, Lily says, I'm I'm on late, so you might have answered this already. If I only have a normal printer, how do I print out your traceables? Are they dead on normal 8 by 10 Yes, um, Lily. If you see here, I just taped these on together. So yeah, this is out, all I have is a normal printer. Um, I don't have anything fancy. I just have the basic, basic um, HP printer or whatever and nothing serious just the normal that I can print like basic stuff like this okay so let's see where we're at and again you don't have to if you're you know kind of confident in your painting skills you don't have to trace all this because literally we're just going to paint them but 
I wanted to make it really easy for everyone. So it takes away any scaredness, any fear about, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do this? And this is also a great tip for those of you that are teaching paint parties to have this kind of stuff done for your customers. And I know it takes that extra mile, but I promise you, whenever you can make them like have an easier way where they're just able to chill out and hang out, it's a it's a big deal. Um, okay, let's see. Yay, it's working. Okay, let me double check over here. I feel like I'm missing some stuff right here. Yeah, you want the shiny side down. I think I saw Margaret say that. Yes, the bright side down. Very good tip. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah, you want to make sure you have that bright side down. Um, I think this is a, a miss line. Oh, no, it's not. That's, the, that's part of the table. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, what's this? But that's part of where I painted. Because here's how I do my paintings. I come up with my paintings first through drawing them. And then once I come up with them, I paint them. And then after I paint them, we create tracers for you. So it's kind of a whole process. So right now, actually behind this sign, I have the newest painting that's happening for Paint Party Headquarters. But it is not, like I have the drawing done. I'm not going to show you, but it's on the back of this paper. I have the drawing done on the back. And then I have the, what I'm painting it on, which is a surprise. It's something that you will never have guessed. And I'm painting it on that. And then once I paint it all, then we create the tracers and then we create all the stuff for Paint Party Headquarters. So that's um, something exciting I'm working on this morning. Okay, let me see if I got it all. Okay, I think, oh, oh, I missed the spot right here. Okay, I think I got it all. So now, once you feel safe about it, you just pull this up, and then you pull your carbon paper up, and now I am officially ready for Sunday night, because Sunday night, this will be the first painting that we're doing. So if you're nervous at all, you can, oh, I did miss this part. So I missed the line. Oh, I'll add it. Okay. I was going to say, oh, this is the line. I bet that's what that is. Okay. That's what it is. So when you put the tracer on, y'all, my bad. Sorry. When you put the tracer on, put it all the way to the bottom of your canvas. And then that little extra up there. No, I, I think that's not right. Just kind of put it like that. Just put it like I did at the beginning because this part right here, this little part, this is easy to draw on. As you can see, it is not a straight line. So I'll show you how to do that. Another little tip for that is you can literally take a second canvas and just pull it down a little bit like this and then just kind of draw in, draw in your line, which my pen doesn't work. So that's not working. <laughs> All right. So we have um, some cool stuff happening. So those of y'all that are here, um, if you've already signed up for the fall ball, um, we are excited. You should already be in the private Facebook group. You should have already texted me so that you know when I'm going live, all of that great stuff. Um, oh, that's so cool. Linda says, I really love the wood effect behind the white pumpkin. Super excited. Linda, do you know where that came from? Um, that So Rita Barker, who's um, a friend of mine, she always sends me like inspirational pictures or stuff she finds. And she sent me, I was, you know, brainstorming. I'm always like months ahead of the season, like brainstorming, like what I want to create for, for all of y'all in Paint Party headquarters and of course the fall ball. And so um, I was, you know, working on some ideas and drawing them in my journal. And then I got a, a, a message, a text message from Rita, and it had this beautiful turquoise door. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, I got to paint that. And so I took inspiration from that and then um, added in kind of the design I already had in my brain and brought that together with that turquoise and the pumpkin. So I know it's a little um, non-traditional for fall, but I wanted to bring some um, just difference to it. And so Christina says, Cheryl Hughes, you interviewed her for a painted prayer, is a dear friend and we got together yesterday. She's expanding my art studio to begin paint parties and I'm super excited to join PPHQ. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Christine. And we're so happy to have Cheryl. That's so, so cool. 
Well, good luck. And we're excited to help you. So excited to help you. And let's see, Elizabeth says, I will be able to join Sunday. Monday, I will be away. Okay, so here's the thing. If you no, Tammy, there is no sneak peek. She wants a sneak peek of the new design. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. I think you were getting a little sneak peek. I'm going to cover that. No, no sneak peek. <laughs> I got to I got to agree. I want it to be perfect before I show you. Um, OK, so if you um, you will be able to watch the replays. So if you can't be there live and um, you will have access to watch the replays. But here's why I want you to try to be there live during the live. It's a lot of fun. So much fun. Um, and also I'm giving away tons of gift cards. So as you're live and you're making comments, and um, I'll just, you know, say, okay, so-and-so, you get a gift card. Okay, so-and-so. And then we actually will message or we'll um, snail mail these to you. And then Bobby will. <laughs> Bobby will send those to you. He's really, really helpful with that. And then um, the other thing is, is behind this, I have over $200 worth of stencils I'll be giving away. And um, over here, I think I already showed you all this. Y'all don't laugh at my pants. I'm filling them out. I'm not real sure if I like them yet. So it's a new look. So don't, don't judge. <laughs> I'm still filling. I'm like, I don't know if I love these. I don't know. I was going to change, but I was like, I'm not going to stand up. And then I just stood up. So I got to tell y'all, I'm just not sure if I'm feeling them. And all of this um, deco art and um, glitter paint is part of the giveaway for, um, for all of this. So all of the new holographic illusion glitter paint will be coming to somebody as well. So there is a ton, a ton of new stuff. Oh, thank you, Gina. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like I put them on and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if this is for me or not. I don't know. Um, and then also I have some brushes um, coming y'all's way. Um, for, and again, this is going to be like um, based on, you know, whoever has the most creative background. And, and again, when we choose the winners for this, um, oh, thank you, Linda. Yes, the live, it's gonna, yes, she goes, the live will be epic, you don't wanna miss. And we definitely, definitely will end. We go all out, like we seriously go all out. So I don't want you to miss it. And it's fun. So instead of like, if you are at the house on Sunday night at seven, instead of watching Netflix or, or whatever, tune in because we're going to have a blast together get your painting out all of that um oh yes and um, samantha says i was just telling a friend about you and bobby and how it was definitely a team effort that made pphq come to life yes besides my family and um, bobby and pixie they're a huge part of it we have um a whole team now that that helps all this happen so there are so many awesome people behind the scenes that do so so much to help all of this be magical and awesome and great for y'all so um anyway i just wanted to say um this is how you trace it if you um have missed this or you're joining late rewind it to the beginning so you can watch how to get this pre-traced so that you are ready for sunday and then all of y'all that have um texted me already good job because you will get text Hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if you can still hear me. If not, I'll have to end the, the live. Please, please. Oh, Scott, Jody, you'll know what to get because it'll all be on. Um, when you sign up, you'll get a supply list, you'll get the tracer, you'll get all of that and it'll tell you exactly what to do. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Um, oh, good, you can hear me, yay. Okay, so sometimes when I'm streaming, it, um, and I have an alarm go off because I forget sometimes to take my alarms off and it'll go off and then I can't um, say anything else anymore. So I'm so glad. Okay, good. That's good to know because last time it did not do that. <laughs> All right, y'all. So if you have not signed up for the fall ball yet, it's only $10. It starts on Sunday and make sure to text. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Make sure to text me right here because I'm going to let you know when I'm live on Friday when I'm shopping. And then I'll also remind you Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night. And then if you cannot be there live, you can watch the replays. And the last thing I was going to say is for those really big prizes um, that we're going to be shipping out, 
those, it doesn't mean you have to be the best painter to win. So sometimes we're just looking for creativity. We're just looking for somebody to think outside the box. So, um, so we have had some wild entries in the past of the past fall ball. And then when we did our March paint and business boot camp, and it was crazy fun. We had people painting on their husband's back. We had people painting on, um, a, a, love seat um sofa cushion it was crazy like how creative because we do have a contest that says the most unique um surface and so people just i think the back one because that was really really that was really cool i can't believe her husband i think she said something like i had to finish in a certain amount of time or he was going to be done so yeah she didn't use the carbon paper for that <laughs> All right. I hope this was helpful and um, I can't wait to see you in the fall ball and I'll see y'all soon.